Kia ora to we back with another uh, vlog of training, so the Friday session. Um, but before you started, you're right now you're looking at uh, Auckland. Um, I'm not sure why I put in there, I think it's just because I miss home as in New Zealand Aotearoa, not Auckland, because you know that Wellington's the best city in Aotearoa. Uh, so if you ever want to go visit in NZ, Wellington, Wally Deep is where, where it's at, 056. But yeah, anyway, um, so as some of you know, I've been doing the knees over toe stuff as a warm up um, since I've had surgery. And I think it's really helped with uh, my mobility and uh, strength through full range. So like I said, I've been doing that before every every training, but you guys don't really see that. But here you can see the Astagrass split squat. So this was a couple months ago, maybe three months after surgery. And then this is um, two weeks ago. So that's six months after surgery. So you can really tell the difference. So if you want to improve the mobility in that strength through range, um, go check them out. At least they were going to program anyway, which has really helped me. So anyway, we're back for the speed power combo. So Friday session, max velocity focus. The weather was terrible, but we got it done. Um, yeah, anyway, this is how it went. So we started off with some A marching. So it's basically a drill that emphasizes proper biomechanics during um, linear sprint or acceleration. Then we moved into some A skip. So develop lower leg strength whilst promoting knee lift and efficient foot strike. So all of these sprinter drills, one, two, two. It's basically just to help me work on the sprint mechanics, especially really getting my knee up and that knee drive because I really that's something I really struggle with. Do I think they're going to make me faster? Probably not, but anyway, it's not a bad little warm up and you definitely uh, build a bit of a sweat doing it, so you know, it's not terrible. But going through this, just watching, I don't even know if the mechanics getting better. All I can see is that I think my calves have gotten bigger, so at least hey, that's a positive. Here you can see me walking on my toes and the heels on the way back, so this warms up the foot, ankle and calf muscle. That's one thing that a lot of people really neglect when they do sprinting. Make sure you really get those feet involved there, eh? because obviously that's what's putting the force to the ground. Then I progress to about four run-throughs, so progressing each time, building up in speed, progressing about 60, 70, 80% before moving to my first rep. And then we moved on to some um, med ball throw and sprint, so we're looking at the acceleration specific angles that this gives us so it gives us about a 45 degree angle looking to build explosive power specific for acceleration and really work on a quick first step and then i moved on to the med ball granny toss so this is looking to develop speed strength and kinematic linking so just make sure that the body is working in order i primarily use it as a primer before i really start getting into the like heavy sprinting making sure that the posterior chain and the body is primed um, for explosive exercise especially with my hamstring I then moved into a straight leg bound, so I'm trying to teach the body to recruit the hamstrings as a hip extensor, along with applying force into the ground. But also, the bound also promotes foot contact and allows me to pull myself over my foot, um, which is something I struggle with. It's also like a regressed version of a bound, so it's easier on the body and the joints, which is great for me. So you're yeah, bound into a 15 meter sprint, so basically here I'm just trying to apply the principles of force application um, by moving, transitioning from the bound to the sprint. And I moved into the gym and worked on the snatch ball, so this is my main um, strength power exercise, so trying to develop strength, so this movement allows for heavier loads. So usually, you know, you can work at, or you start at 110% of your um, snatch max. I probably needed to keep my torso a little bit more vertical and maybe drop a little bit lower into the squat, push through the floor a little bit better, but hey i'm a rugby player not a weightlifter so it is what it is i was then back outside for some in and out sprints so 15 meter style so it's 15 meter acceleration 15 meter max sprint 15 meter about 50 percent so you decelerate and then 15 meter max sprint again I'm trying to teach my body how to um, change momentum or change speeds just like you see in a rugby field from a sprint to a jog or a jog to a sprint then back in the gym with a bosch step up so i'm trying to encourage co-contraction and stiffness through the torso and hips which is an important component of running. This is super settled with an explosive power exercise, so box jumps. So big man's trying to generate that power. So 108 kg is getting up, joint compromise athlete. If I can do it, you can do it too fam. Let's get it. And then I did some 20 meter, 40 meter, 60 meter sprints from different starting positions. Uh, the weather was too shit for me to record this. So I've just put uh, some videos of Scotty uh, having a run because he's big and fast and I'll be like him. So yeah, thanks Scotty. And finally we're back in the gym with some trap bar deadlifts and so not trying to break any records especially after everything that i've um, just gone through in the session so the trap bar deadlift for me you know less stress on lumbar spine keeps center of mass underneath you um, and to me it's definitely a lot less taxing on the nervous system so i prefer this than normal regular deadlifts 
Uh, then I had a single leg knee dominant option, so I went for the Astagrass split squat, so knees over toes stuff again, uh, just purely because I was quite fatigued and really want to work on that um, strength through full range because uh, that's something I've definitely been missing with my training. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm prepared for any position that I might get put on the field, unlike this year with my hammy. But that's the end of the session, so booyah!